The purpose of this video is to learn how to use some of the basic features of the Desmos geometry construction tool. The tool is available at desmos.com backslash geometry. Let's go ahead first and draw a polygon. I'm going to select the polygon tool. I'm going to draw a triangle, so I'm going to draw three points. One, two, three. And then to finish my triangle, I must click back on the original point, and my polygon is, is selected. If I go back to the select tool, I can now move any of my points, and my polygon stays intact. You can also highlight everything and add your labels. Any label can be removed by clicking on it and then checking, unchecking the label box. So there goes my area. If I wanted my area gone, the other labels that we can add is angles, but we have to first click on the angle tool. And then to, to draw the label of the measurement of angle B, we must select A, B, C, B, C, A, and then C, A, B. And now we have our angles and our sides labeled. Let's say you are going to create this triangle and then want to share it with somebody else. If you come up here and click the save button, um, actually you should probably title it first, so I'll call it um, triangle 5. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll hit save and then this unique URL at the top is created. And this URL is unique to the specific drawing with these exact measurements. If you're to move anything and then hit save, a new URL is created. So now this URL can be shared in any way that you choose. The next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and make a new construction of a circle. So I'm going to click my three lines here. You can see triangle five is, is here and I've created a lot of different um, drawings over the past years and I'm going to create a new construction and now I have a new blank screen. So I'm going to go ahead and do this circle tool and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click a point and then you drag out a radius and click again and your circle is drawn. What I like to do is then go ahead and add a segment that attaches my center to the point on my circle. We can again go back to the select tool, highlight everything, and then add our labels. So now we have circle A, radius AB, length 3.75. There, it, oh, I'm still selecting everything. So if I click over here, now my circle is dynamic. I can open it, close it, make it bigger, smaller, um, move my center around. Um, there's also some tools over here in this menu where you can do projector mode, which if you're projecting on a projector makes it bolder, or if you're copying and pasting it or taking a screenshot, um, sometimes it looks better for a screenshot. You can also add a grid. So then you can go ahead and you can lock point A to that grid point, point C or point B to this grid point, and I have a length of four. Um, there's a lot of great tools here. Um, enjoy your exploration of the Desmos geometry feature.